Hey Cougs, welcome back to At UH News. Hope you had a great spring break, and since the weather's heating up, so is the news on campus. I'm Danielle Malagari. And I'm Nicole Blanton. Let's get started. The rodeo isn't the only place where you can experience the best of what Houston culture has to offer. UH is gearing up for its Frontier Fiesta, where students can showcase their talents in a variety show, play carnival games, and win scholarships. There's even going to be live performances by Love and Theft, A Great Big World, and hip-hop superstar, B.O.B. Got your running shoes on? There's even going to be a 5K for the brave that will help support Houstonians who suffer from chronic illness. The Frontier Fiesta starts off March 20th and ends on the 22nd, so we'll see you at the Fiesta. But until then, log on for more information at uh.edu slash Fiesta. The UH Police Department has donated abandoned bicycles to charitable organizations across Houston. After a certain amount of time, these bicycles that were left on campus were looked at by Monica Davison, who was a UHPD officer, and she started looking for organizations that could use the bikes. Lighthouse Baptist Church and Chain Reaction Ministries were excited to receive the donations, and UHPD looks forward to partnering with other organizations to donate bikes in the future. Attention all Cougar Cubs! A new initiative gives incoming freshmen a reasonable path to graduate in four years. Only 16% of U of H students graduate within the four-year mark, but UH in four vows to change this. Vice Provost Terry Longacre says that the program will ensure course availability, provide a four-year map, and require no extra charges if U of H has any reasons for delay. UH students from the Graduate College of Social Work are among a select group of 20 women from across the country who will attend the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. Dixie Harrison, Ariel Stevens, Anna Rodriguez, and Jenna Cooper were selected for the commission by the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. For more info, you can visit uh.edu. The UH Health Center will be providing free diabetes screenings for U of H students. All they need to do is bring their photo ID and have their PeopleSoft number ready. On March 21st is when the screenings begin and it's on a first come, first serve basis. For more information, visit uofh.edu slash health center. UH's Office of Sustainability is hosting a free screening of the Lorax on March 18th at the UC Theater. There will be free pizza and snacks outside of the theater before the movie begins at 6 p.m. The Lorax screening is part of a series of events by the office to promote UH's annual participation in the Recyclemania competition. For more info, you can visit uh.edu slash green. Welcome to At U of H. I'm Brittany Taylor, and today we have Hunter Lewis, the current chairman of Frontier Fiesta. Hunter and many others have been working around the clock to bring students and staff our annual front Frontier Fiesta. Thank you, uh, Hunter, for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate being here. There's been a lot of commotion and excitement going around about the uh, Frontier Fiesta 2014 lineup. May you want to give details on who may be performing this year? I'd love to. Uh, so our headliners this year, we have three main headliners correspond each day of Frontier Fiesta, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, we have uh, the indie pop duo, A Great Big World, known for their hit single, Say Something, with Christina Aguilera. On Friday, we have hip-hop artist B.O.B., who's been making waves for quite a few years now. And Saturday, we end the event with Love and Theft. Country duo has had quite a few hit singles on country radio stations across the nation. So, very excited about all three artists. I think students are really going to love having them. So, what can students and staff expect this year different from last year? Uh, that's, a, that's a great question. I think first is obviously the music. Uh, I think we recognize that uh, students wanted that out of Frontier Fiesta. They thought that would be the best thing that we could give them, so that's our, our primary difference. But the second that we haven't talked about too much, which you'll see more about in the coming few weeks leading up to the event, is the new Bud Light Pavilion at Frontier Fiesta. This pavilion is extraordinary. For the first time, we will have lots of things available to the general public that we didn't have before, such as barbecue being served to the general public, uh, which was one of the highest criticisms of Frontier Frontier Fiesta in the past. The second is other nationally and local, re locally recognized artists, uh, 12 to 15 artists from around Houston, around Texas, around the nation, that while many people are excited about our headliners, as they rightfully should be, I think people will be very much impressed by the lineup that we haven't talked about yet, which is those artists, which will also be performing. There will also be student showcases and student performances there, in addition to student organization showcases such as the Council of Ethnic Organizations, Taste of the World, where they showcase different cultures, their foods, uh, things that go on in different societies. The Student Video Network will have their Film Fest premiered at Frontier Fiesta, where they'll be giving out the awards to students who put together various films, um, among a lot of other cool things. 
So how is it similar to the rodeo? So the rodeo is in town. The town. So an expression that we like to use that some people, some people prefer, some people don't, it's actually an interesting debate that we have, is that we, we consider Frontier Fiesta the rodeo without the rodeo. And that sounds strange, but what that means is we do ev essentially everything the rodeo does without the actual, you know, cattle steering and horse riding and bullfighting and things like that. We have the carnival booth. Student organizations have carnival booths out there with various games and giveaways and such. We have the cook-off uh, going on throughout the, throughout the weekend. It's a Texas state sanctioned barbecue cook-off by the Texas State Senate. We have variety shows, which are student showcases and little, you know, step shows and, awesome. and can can dancers and things Thank like that. Thank you so much. That sounds very similar that students can experience at the rodeo and at Frontier Fiesta. Yeah. For more information, you can look um, at the Frontier Fiesta Facebook or you can go to universityofhouston.edu uh, to check out the Frontier Fiesta for more details. All right, Coots, let's welcome Cassidy Sun as she gives us an in-depth look at the 2014 Ice Apocalypse. Thanks, Danielle. So you see, now that it's springtime and it's getting warmer and people are dealing with their allergies, let's go back in time to see what a few UH students did during the Ice Apocalypse. Classes were canceled and school was closed, yet there were a few set of students who were brave enough to explore campus on the 2014 ice apocalypse. Wow, it's crazy how bipolar the weather is around here. I know, I think Houston is the only city that experienced all four seasons in just one day. I mean, can a girl just wear a good hairstyle? Right? Well, that's all the time we have here on At UH. We hope you had a great spring break and be sure to join us right here next week. I'm Nicole Blanton. And I'm Danielle Malagari.